morning to you. I'm happy, happy to see you. Good morning. Shout out to Jeff Stanfield's mother. Um, okay, it's not even morning. Um, okay, so first I want to acknowledge the, the 30, I think 32 of you who watched the video I put up yesterday. Thank you. Um, two of you commented. I appreciate it. I got one email about it. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Kelly Brown. Um, you're all very supportive and thank I, I I watched it back, and frankly, I think you all should have called, like, my mother and been like, he's insane, because I was a crazy person on the video yesterday. So now I'm focusing in a little bit, going to have some content, but I am really excited about it, actually. To be honest, I'm really excited about starting to do this. So thanks for supporting me. We'll see what happens. Um, we're going to get right down to business, because it's Sunday, June 15th, and it's Father's Day! Yay! I love you, Dad but you're not alive. So I get to actually focus on the fact that in addition to it being Father's Day, happy Father's Day to all the Father's Day fathers out there. It is Tony Awards Sunday. It's the Tony Awards. It's the Tony Awards. You think I go crazy for the Oscars? Wait till you see me at the Tony Awards. Okay. Um, let's get right down to business. Um, tonight... Best play will go to August Osage County. Tracy Letts, it's genius. I saw it on Wednesday when I was in New York, and it's pff, stunning, amazing. Everything about it is flawless, perfect. Everything I would love to be a part of in a play. I wish I could write like that. I wish I could act like that. I wish I could design sets like that. I wish I could do everything like that. It's amazing. Congratulations. You already won. Tracy Letts, everybody involved. Congratulations. Best Musical. This is a serious battle. Um, the nominees are Cry Baby, In the Heights, Passing Strange, and Xanadu. Um, Xanadu is... Well, Cry Baby is not going to win. Sorry. Cry about it. Um, Xanadu... I, I, it's probably not going to happen, um, but that Cubby Bernstein push just might do it. If you don't know who Cubby Bernstein is, go to my subscriptions, look at Cubby Bernstein... Um, Perez has become obsessed with it too, but that doesn't make it cool. It's cool because it's the Tony Awards, and the Tony Awards are cool. Um, but the battle is in the Heights and Passing Strange. I saw both of them this, um, last week while I was there. I like Passing Strange a lot. I love the second act, and the, um, Take My Keys, that song is really good, and the Amsterdam, Amsterdam. I can't believe I'm singing all of this. Um... Yeah, it, it's great. It's really great. And it's different and it's fun and it's moving and Stu's kind of wacky, crazy, cool. And Daniel Breaker, who's in it, is amazing. He's nominated for Best Featured Actor and he's phenomenal. Um, but I gotta go within the heights. I, it's, there's something so amazingly powerful about this show. And it's got traditional musical theater to it. And it's a family show, which you don't think it is. You don't even notice that it is until... I didn't notice until about midway through the second act. I was like, wow, they're not cursing. There's not, like, it's just a really authentic, cool show. And Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote it and stars in it, is breathtaking. And run, don't walk. If you're in New York, if you're somewhere else, fly. Don't try to run to New York. It's, you gotta walk a lot when you get there, so your feet will be so tired. You're not gonna want to do that. Don't do it. Okay. Revival of a musical. The nominees are Gypsy, South Pacific, Greece, and Sunday in the Park with George. Sunday in the Park with George would win any other year. I haven't seen it. I have to say that. I haven't seen the new production, but I know basically everything about it, and I've seen a lot of clips. It would win any other year. Um, but unfortunately, it's been the year of the revival in a way that the revival has never had a year. Um, the battle is Gypsy in South Pacific. Greece is not going to win. I will be surprised if they even show up. Um, sorry. Sorry. Um, but, uh, no, it's South Pacific and Gypsy. Um, I saw both. Gypsy should win. That's my feeling. Um, it's breathtaking, life-changing, so moving, so incredible. Patti Lapone is not the only reason to see the show. Is she the best reason to see a show in general? Yes. 
But she's not the only reason to see it. It's the whole show is amazing. Boyd Gaines, Laura Benanti, obviously Lee Larkin, um, Lee Ann Larkin. She plays D- Dainty June. Lee Ann Larkin. Tony Yazbek's phenomenal. Um, those are all great reasons to see it. The strippers are amazing. Allison Fraser, who I adore, original cast of In Trousers. I love her. She's phenomenal. She plays Tessie Tura. The woman playing Electra, I forget her name. On oh, Lenora Nemetz, who was in the first show that changed my life, um, Bye Bye Birdie, when I saw it with Tommy Toon. And Tommy Toon, who was at In the Heights when I was at In the Heights, it was a really full circle theatrical moment for me this week in New York. Anyways, I go with Gypsy. South Pacific's probably going to win, but I vote for Gypsy. I think South Pacific. Oh my god, my blog's long, and I have a guest today. Um, okay, uh, oh god, it's so long. Do you guys mind a long show? You can stop watching. Um, so, uh, ha, 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 actress in a play, Deanna Dunagan, du, Dunagan? Deanna Dunagan? Deanna Dunagan from August Osage County is gonna win. She's phenomenal, amazing. Her um, other competition as Amy Morton, who plays her daughter, and Amy Morton's also spectacular, amazing, beautiful, stunning. And if she didn't have her mother to compete against for the Tony, she would win, she should win, she should win an Academy Award for something. She's phenomenal, amazing. Both of them are amazing. They can't exist without the other, but Deanna Dunigan is going to win, and I think Amy Morton's probably fine with that. I'm just thinking, probably. Um, Essa Pitha Markison is nominated from that category, though, and we like her speeches when she pulls things out of her tits. We like it when that happens, right? I don't think I like my hair. Okay. Um, Best Actress in a Musical. Patti Lapone will win her second Tony. Some, so many people don't know this, that she only has one Tony Award. She won a Tony Award for Evita. She has not won again since. So... Let's give her a Tony for what's quite possibly the greatest Mama Rose of all time. Not Ethel, of course. Maybe she's better than Ethel. Anyways, this is the point. This is what I want to tell you all. Some of you may or may not know that I saw Patty Lapone and Gypsy a week ago today. The matinee Sunday. I went with my good friend Marissa Jarrett Winoker. And um, because I was with my good friend Marissa Jarrett Winoker, we were able to go backstage afterwards. I, we were literally in her dressing room before I stopped crying from Rose's turn. Rose's turn where she throws herself on the ground. No mama has ever, no Rose has ever, that I know of, actually thrown themselves on the ground during Rose's turn. It's stunning. Um, but I was still crying. I shook her hand three times. All I could do was say over and over, sobbing over and over, going, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. While Marissa's talking, and Marissa went crazy too. Like, we all did. Like, anybody who sees her who cares about musical theater will go crazy for her in the show. Um, anyways, Patti Lapone's gonna win. Sorry, Kelly O'Hara, you're good too. Um, Carrie Butler, you'll have your time. Faith Prince, everybody loves you. Um, and... You'll always be nominated for Tony's. And Jenna Russell, any other year, Sunday in the Park with George, you probably would have won in another year. And I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Featured actress in a musical will go to Laura Benanti. Deidre Aziza in Passing Strange is good. Um, Olga Meredith is stunning and in the heights. Loretta Abel Sire, good for you. She came out of community theater in Hawaii um, to star, to become a Tony-nominated star of South Pacific, playing Bloody Mary. And she's so good. She's so funny and great. I guess some people have weird feelings about her on Broadway. I, I heard that rumor. I don't know what that means. I like her a lot. I think she's wonderful, funny, engaging, interesting. Um, all right. On Featured Actor in a Musical, this is where I have to say something very important. That, first of all, my friend Matthew Morrison should have been nominated for South Pacific. He was amazing. And Tony Committee, Tony nominees, you, Tony nominators, you screwed up. Apologize to him. Write him letters. Send him flowers. He should have been nominated. Um, Daniel Breaker, Danny Burstein, both really good. Daniel Breaker's from Passing Strange. I think he might win, actually, but I'm not sure because Boyd Gaines, um, who plays Herbie and Gypsy, is phenomenal, and he's probably going to win. It's The battle is supposedly between those two, and this is not to take anything from either of them. I have to say, if I were a Tony voter, I would be voting for Robin De Jesus for In the Heights because he's breathtaking, and I kind of want to cry thinking about it because he's so good. 